Hey, we're standing here today with Howard, Corey, and Patrick. This is a family-owned laundromat, and they are, wait till you see this facility. I can't wait to show it to you because these guys are doing something amazing here in Los Angeles, California. What's the actual city you're Anaheim, in? Anaheim, California. Anaheim, okay. Like the angels up here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So we're excited to show you around the place and to see what they do different and unique compared to the rest of us. And maybe you guys can learn something. I don't know. What do you think, Patrick? Yeah, I think definitely we got uh, some quirks out here and we're excited to show you guys. All right. What's the issues with your water here in California? So here in uh, Anaheim, uh, or in all of California, we're, uh, we've been in a drought. So uh, we have really hard water and you know that impacts the water heaters, got to replace the solenoids. And so so you're like having a lot of water valve issues. Have you ever thought about putting a water softener in? Or do you think something like that would work in a wheeze application? We have a water conditioner, so okay. it's not quite a water softener. But um, I think maybe potentially a water softener would be something to look into. Okay. Randy's my camera guy today, Randy Roberts. He's doing a pretty damn good job. But what we'll see when I, when I start editing the video. But we have Corey here. So tell me a little bit about your equipment mix. Were you able, did you build this from scratch? Uh, we built this from scratch, not me personally, that was my dad and my uncle, but okay. uh, our equipment mix is, well, first of all, we're all Continental, pretty much. Uh, we have some LGs, which we got through our Continental distributor, but uh, we have a pretty good mix of uh, two, two loads, three loads. Uh, we got two different types of four loads, some six loads. Uh, these are old machines, but these L1075s, roughly eight loads, are some of our best performing machines. We have one EH90, 90 pounder in the back that we use for our commercial, and that has uh, the automatic uh, softener and uh, soap injection. Oh, really? So uh, that some of our customers like that, some of our customers still like to use their own soap. So. Uh, that's one of the, the things we go back and forth about. One idea that I have, uh, we're thinking about upgrading to some of the GS uh, Continental washers, and I know that has some, uh, you can pump in the soap as well. So again, I like that from a pickup and delivery processing point of view, but I understand some of our customers like to put their own stuff, so that's one of the, the trade-offs that we're, we're thinking about. We do like a Continental equipment, and so I hooked up with, uh, our Continental rep, because of Randy Roberts, <laughs> out of Columbus, Ohio, who's holding the camera right now, <laughs> and I will be getting the ironer before he does. So I'm not sure exactly which model it is, but it's nice. But anyway. Does, it, does the linen come out wet, or do you need to put it in the dryer no, before you, you use it? You can take it straight out of the, dry, the washer and go straight to the ironer if it's 2G. Okay. So if it's 2G. Uh, it looks like you guys have some pretty far, powerful machines, but I was uh, I was under the impression if it's 1G, you, it's minimal drying, minimal. You want it slightly damp, you just throw it in there. So it works really well. I've noticed that you have card readers. Do you have quarters? We do not. So we're a fully card operated laundromat. Wow. Um, just makes it easier, not only for us, but for the customers. Uh, one thing we realized is no one wants to be fumbling around and messing with quarters. So it uh, makes it easier and also um, it's safer as well. We don't have, you know, coin boxes on every machine that, you know, could attract. Um, and I noticed uh, we had a, coin so a quarter shortage. So you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I would not. Only for uh, maybe our soda machine. Exactly. Now, what card system did you guys choose? So we use uh, CCI, okay. and uh, we're really happy with CCI. One of the main reasons is we think they have some of the best reporting. So it just makes it easy for us to anal analyze our numbers, uh, see how we're doing, see which machines are the most popular. So when we do need to do a retool, we already have all that information ready. Outstanding. I love the way they look at the machines. I mean, they make the machines look so nice. Look at that. It looks like it's part of the machine. Very unique. I love this. This is very unique. And I think our customers, I think most customers would love to see something like this when they come in. Whose idea was this, Corey? No, uh, this was my brother's main idea, but we actually heard it, or we, we saw it at another laundromat, so we took inspiration from that and uh, decided to bring it here. Outstanding. Well, it looks good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. Uh, we, we really tried to uh, pull our customers upstream, so 
we always are trying to get uh, self-service customers to realize the value of their time and you know, instead of doing laundry, we'll do it for them. And that's the great thing about the laundromat community. You can go to other laundromats and get some great ideas. Then you can go to laundromats and get some terrible ideas. <laughs> yep. So that's the beautiful thing about it. And I noticed that your folding is very unique. It's, you've made an entire, so no one's gonna be walking out with your folding tables, of course. <laughs> but is that something that was on the, in the laundromat and they have their own little area? We'll, we'll definitely have customers come and hold it down. Um, I think we just wanted to. I know folding space is a big, it's uh, huge. is a big issue huge. For, for a lot folding of people. Folding and seating. Yeah. yeah. So we just wanted to uh, make it give, give as much as possible. And this is also kind of a maintenance thing where we wanted to be able to get in, get behind the washers. Uh, we we can check that out over there. But we have washers back to back. Great for having more washers. An issue for for service. Less is more sometimes. Yes. Now, what I like about the folding tables is that you're coming directly out of the dryers. Yes. So flow is very important in a laundromat. And the second when me and Randy walk through the door, I notice immediately the flow. And what's it, what hits you when you walk in the door? What's the first thing that hits you? The Hopefully large that. washing machines. Yes. And they're not going to be sitting here looking for anything else because they usually just drop their stuff at the large one, then they'll walk around. Yep. And then you want them to use the large one, and that's what usually happens. So that's great, great design. You guys are doing a great job. All right. I noticed something else, Randy. Would you pan up here? This is pretty neat. What What is this? Is this like a concert going on in your laundromat? Yeah, so this is our uh, Santa Wash ozone sanitizing machine. And um, to bring a little bit extra attention to it, we have this uh, hologram. So that helps uh, communicate to our customers uh, the benefit that they're getting, which is a sanitized wash. And um, what, what this doesn't, so uh, the hologram speaks to the sanitizing effects, but one of the things that we like as operators is the fact that we can get a higher level of clean with cold water. Okay. So the, how ozone works, uh, someone with a chemistry background could tell you more better than me, but uh, I guess o ozone is, three oxygen m molecules and when it's in the when the ozone gas is dissolved into the water it'll oxidize any uh, microorganism so that third oxygen will go attach itself to the a microorganism it'll break down the cell wall and that's how you get sanitized laundry basically all you do need is really just one little water heater you don't need all these big water heaters that you see in some of these laundromats if you have ozone I think you still need hot water for like oily stuff. Mm -hmm. So ozone isn't going to work with that. Again, that gets into the chemistry, which I'm just kind of repeating. I don't understand it I at understand. a fundamental level, but uh, still need hot water, but this helps us reduce our usage. So I noticed that you have low 20 on your laundry card using credit card or cash, credit card or cash, and you get $3 bonus. Yeah, so that's one of the benefits of our card system. Uh, we, we try to encourage uh, larger larger transactions and uh, to reward our customers for doing so, we give them what works out to be a 15% bonus, $3 on top of 20. And uh, that's just, again, the flexibility of the card system. We don't need to be in 25 cent increments. We don't need to be, you know, kind of one-to-one. -one. We can reward, especially our loyal customers who will keep a balance. Uh, we're, we're happy to reward them for their loyalty and uh, the customers really enjoy it too. I've walked over here and I noticed that you have this tied behind the counter. Is this automatic injection? Yep, uh, automatically injected. For dose. what? This big continental? Dose for the load. So this baby is our uh, pride and joy of the store. It's a 90 pound machine. It's the biggest one in the city. So uh, Biggest one in the city? Yep, biggest one in the city. So. Uh, Wow. Yeah, if you get back or you're going on a camping trip and you need to throw in all your sleeping bags or blankets, this one will take it, take care of it for you. That's and awesome. You can leave the soap at home. Man, this is a big machine. There, Joe Dan? I, you could wash me up. <laughs> <laughs> I might be washed up. I noticed that they've taken on the philosophy less is more because it's so important for people to have folding and seating. And they've also taken into account between the aisles, people love space. And when you come through here, the aisles are nice and wide. People aren't buttoned up to each other. Do your customers appreciate this? Oh, 100%. I mean, in some laundromats, as I'm sure you've seen, Joe Dan, no one's using the uh, washers in the middle because it's just too much of a hassle to get to. 
So we, um, we took the recommended IO length and we went ahead and doubled it just to make sure that our customers had ample amount of room to navigate between the washers and load uh, their favorite machine. See, there's three of us between here right now and, and, I'm, and I'm not jammed up. And that's what people like. They, they like the comfort and I see you guys have stools so people can step up if they're not tall enough to get into the machine, which would be for me, of course. <laughs> These machines are huge in here. This place looks fabulous. You guys have done a wonderful job maintaining and keeping it up. And, and I noticed that you guys, whenever something is getting old, it, it's obvious that you retool immediately because I, I see the new dryers over here and I see some new washers in here. So I guess it's important to stay with the same brand, so to speak, so everything looks the same. Exactly. Of course, if you did do that, you can always change one row and it wouldn't be so obvious, but Continental, this looks like a really good outfit and it just looks nice in here all together. Yeah, we have a great relationship with Continental and uh, aside from the aesthetics of keeping everything, you know, within the same brand, uh, it's also e easier from a maintenance perspective. If you have multiple different brands in the back, you got multiple different parts and it's, it's real hard to keep track of. I will say we are standing inside the aisles of our oldest machines right here, so this will be retooled. That's and why I'm here. I think one thing that we may do differently is right now, if you look, this whole row is all 30s, which again, looks kind of nice. That could lead to some customers needing to walk all around the store to get all the different machines that they need. So we're thinking about mixing this up with uh, between some four loads, some three loads, 40s, some two loads. Yes. So that's what, our, that's what we're thinking about right now. Outstanding. We're entering the front entrance of We Wash For You. What's the first thing you see in a laundromat? These big, big huge Continentals. What do you want? So when people walk in, the first thing they do is just drop their clothes. And then you just look around and you just see everything big. So, I mean, what a great layout this place is. I mean, it's, it's a nice layout because you have dryers on both, all three, three walls there. You have dryers on the back wall here. All four walls, as a matter of fact. All four walls, but, but it's not really in the way. See, you see some dryers and you're like, oh, where am I gonna go, where am I gonna go? But the flow to this laundromat is nice, very nice. And I think that's key in this business. So thank you guys. Walking around this van, check it out. They've got QR code. They've got their phone number. They list the laundry services. Who designed this van? So we actually used a company uh, called Sandbox. So they're a great company located in Santa Ana. But um, it was a collaborative effort, um, but we definitely, we definitely wanted to make sure we got um, all the, the vital information and um, definitely if someone was, you know, stopped at a red light and uh, they're interested in laundry service, that they could just easily scan the QR code and uh, that we would be, uh, they would be ready to roll. Well, what's great about this is you have your phone number and your website. Those are the two most important things when you're, it's so labeled nice. So, it, you... And then one thing we really like, it's a small detail, but uh, you get custom license plates oh, on yeah. Amazon. Take a, nice. I can't take credit for that. I will give credit to my brother Corey, but um, that's something that we think. Yeah, uh, we gotta give really Corey some credit. Not much, but some. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. The van looks great. I think that's what. That's your driving billboard. I mean, that's that's huge. You drive. How many vans do you guys have right now? So we have uh, two that we operate out of this location. Okay. So, um, and how many locations do you have? We have three laundromat locations, three laundromats, uh, two yeah. in Anaheim and then another one in, up in La Puente. Outstanding. Well, you guys are doing a great job. It looks great. I appreciate it.